That's why I got peace. Don't you want to be set free? Don't y'all want to have a peace of mind? Joy divine? Love that'll last? Can't be surprised? You're going to start doing something about these thoughts. They're going to start receiving all this cancer and garbage and diseases. Sorry, folks. But it's the truth anyhow. Amen. 
Let me ask you a question. Who's accused of the brother? Satan, right? Hmm? The Bible said he's doing that day and night. Hmm? Not only is he accusing us before God, then he's accusing us amongst each other. Is that right? Is that right? Now, now we got two we got two strikes against us. And then we end up accusing ourselves. Now we got three. <laughs> Amen. I mean, after all, if he can't get you to accuse each other, the next thing you do, he just gets you to just beat down yourself. Oh, we we pull some cub off there. We say, we say, whoo, look at that. Look at her. <laughs> Pulling some cover off the day, just look at that devil. There he is. So you can't let these accusing spirits have a place. So if you want that peace of mind, brothers and sisters, you can have it. Because our Jesus is good. I ain't know we gonna have some music this morning. <laughs> you keep on plowing and stuff on. Huh? Amen. So the devil, Satan, is the one. I'm telling you, he's the accused of the brother. So if he can't get you, hey, if I have to accuse you before the father, and then you accusing each other, you follow me? Next thing you know, he gonna have you to like, accusing your own self. Is that right? Amen. He gonna have you accusing your own self. They'll take care of them. Y'all come on in. We bless that. Hallelujah. Yeah. Well, these spirits, boy, they saw me like that. <laughs> and I'm telling you, that's one thing that Satan does. Because if he can't get you through everybody else, then the last resort is to get yourself. Yeah. Amen. Uh-huh. Now see, that's why the Bible, the Bible tells that we're not ignorant of the devil's devices. Amen. Huh? Praise Come out, demon. Come out in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Good preaching, isn't it? Yeah. Good preaching. I know it is. Good Hey, y'all deliverance workers, make sure y'all listen.
looking there. Hey, glory to the king. Greetings, each and every last one of you, sweet, precious, strong, and victorious, and mighty, overcoming name, our soon coming king, Yahshua Amashik, Jesus the Christ. There's an old saying in the military uh, that the commander is never late because his duties require him to be elsewhere. Well, I say that because this was one of those occasions. I'm sorry to be so late here tonight, but nevertheless, I'm not late because the commander is never late. His duties require him to be elsewhere. All right. Glory to the king. Um, not going to waste a lot of time with a bunch of intros and stuff. You know that God's gathering the saints coming up. Uh, I do appreciate uh, each and every last one of you. Um, I, I just got finished reading a bunch of emails as well, and people are brand new coming in want to know how to contribute. Um, I think Sister Carol got this right. Um, I think my PayPal. Carol, what is my PayPal? I don't even know my PayPal. Once she comes and tells me what my PayPal is, I'll give you the PayPal. If you choose to want to direct uh, your offerings, you'll let us support that way. Other than that, you can send it to Charles Dow. Uh, P.O. Box 32, Howie, no, P.O. Box 32, Lafayette, Tennessee, 37083. That's Charles Dowell. You don't have to put past or nothing on it. Charles Dowell. What is it? Dowell 7000 at Gmail. All right. My PayPal is Dowell, my last name, D-O-W-E-L-L, -L, the number is 7000 at gmail.com. That's how you can donate to my PayPal <clears throat> if you choose to. I really, tru truly do appreciate it. I'm going to be using uh, all these offerings and everything for the support of the ministry in the kingdom. Glory to the king. Well, we enter into a very hot time of the year for us to get ready because we only got about a week and a half before gathering the saints is here. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh hold on. We got about a week and a half before gathering the saints is here, and then uh, after that, we're going to be heading into the feast days. Now, we do have uh, what they call... Uh, a solar eclipse that's coming up uh, what the world calls Monday night Monday night All right. Monday night so um, I may get up I th I'm thinking about it matter of fact and, uh, I think brother DJ is going to bring me 10 glasses uh, to the community because you got to have those glasses in order to look at a thing because you can damage your eyes if you try to look at it with your naked eye that's the truth Let's go ahead and get right on the show. The guest call-in number um, is 515-602-9654, 515-602-9654. If you want to talk to Pastor Dow, what you do is you go ahead and push number one and put you in a caller queue. Let's go ahead and get started here because uh, we got to get busy here. Hallelujah. You got a lot to cover. All right. Brother Junior, call number 929-929. is Pastor Dow. You're on the Shepherd 2 Radio Broadcast. How can I help, Brother Junior? Junior, you there? Junior, you going once? Junior, you going twice? Junior, you going three times? Let's go to North Carolina. To my brother, my brother, give me the proper pronunciation yet. On my, I see you commenting on YouTube, and I appreciate you staying active over there too, man. It's always good and pleasant hearing your comments. Call them a nine one nine nine one nine. How can I help, my brother? Uh, shalom, shalom, How you doing? Doing well, doing well, my brother. Doing well, man. I tell you, man, this things are heated up out there in that world, ain't it? Oh, Pastor, I am telling you the dog on truth. It's, mm. it's crazy out there right now. It's crazy. It don't make sense. I'm telling you. I, yeah, I, you know, I was, uh, I, I live in, in, in Grandma County, but um, I, I work in the Greenville area. Mm. And, you know, I'm in the Greenville area. And I was telling you how it was going on. Yeah. You know, they came down and saw, you know, tore that statue down and stuff. I ain't go nowhere near it. You know, nothing like that. That's I didn't even know, you know, that it was planning, you know, that it was going on until I heard about it on the, uh, on the news. Right. And, uh, you know, my, my thing is, uh, you know, just about that situation. It's like, you know, like you were saying, our YouTube video, like you were saying, you know, about defending the rights of others and having the right to protest regardless of, you know, how you feel about that person. You know, my issue is that, you know, where all the heck does violence come from? Yeah. You know, um, and that's all everybody's talking about. It's like nobody really got out to really 
uh, prove that prove their point to the nation. It's like we're so busy trying to fight, you know, instead of trying to talk, you know. So it's a lot of arguing and a lot of controversy because nobody wants to sit around and uh, and talk about the issues and things of that nature. Because you know, our Lord calls us to love everybody. You know, it's fighting and calling up their skin and. And we have all seen up on the short of the glory of God. So it's got one person out here that has not done something wrong in the hot spot of God. So if we sin against God, we have to sin against humanity. So, you know, nobody can point their finger and call, you know, people bad, even though we sometimes we have may have ideas that people don't agree with. I'm not saying all ideas are good or anything like that, but the fact that it's the violence that's going on with it, it's just it's, it's just a shame. It it uh it really, really is. And, uh, you know, that's, that's, uh, I'm glad you got online and I'm glad you're holding your ground and speaking the hard truth and, uh, speaking the truth about that. I'm, I'm so very proud of you, uh, for not, uh, ever taking sides because, you know, just being a righteous man of the Lord and just being righteous in, in your speech. And it really does take a, a true, a righteous man will stand his ground because he knows what he stands for. Mm -hmm. And, um, I just thank the Lord that you know that you're you're full of the rule up, you know, uh, and uh, that God is is with you, um, and that you're standing strong. And I'm with you. I mean, I, I agree with exactly what you were saying. And uh, just a side note, I also agree on what this was saying about that McGregor and Mayweather fight. I, I I'm, I'm with you. I was like. Me and I'm up there in the same house because I was like, the things you be coming over, I'd be like, I was just thinking the same thing. Like, my mind could be just like your mind thing. But I guess it's the Holy Ghost, you know, it's, it's a, uh, uh, like the Lord said, my church know each other. So I guess it's just all in the spirit that's got to be connected. Because I'd I be like, I don't know how in the world you thought of coming over there. But the same thing was was, uh, was going on in my mind uh, as well. I just wanted to say, you know, Shabbat Shalom to everyone. I love you. I love you. I'm not sure you I am grateful for you. You all my teachers. Life. Um, I can't wait till I get things together so I can get up there and just uh, um, to see you, give you a big old hug and just tell you how much you really mean to me face to face and, uh, and things of that nature. And I'm glad you gave me the, uh, uh, if I want to make sure I got this right because I just wrote it down. Um, let's see, it says uh, to dial 7000 at gmail.com for the um, PayPal. Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. People, uh, new people are coming on. And they um, really, truly like what they hear. They really, truly like the changes that are taking place in their life. They're encouraged. Um, they got a, a fire burning in them for this truth and burning for for the Most High Yah and the Messiah, Jesus Christ. And, um, you know, I usually put it out when people ask. If I get like four more than four or five people asking. So, yeah, it's my last name, Dowell, D-O-W-E-L-L, 7000 at gmail.com. That's how you can donate to me by PayPal if you so choose. I really truly appreciate it too. Okay. Yeah, you you know what you are you are most welcome and uh, you know like I said um uh, I think Friday we talk about I get paid uh, this Thursday and so I'll be sending in my uh, my contribution definitely to the ministry and that's what I'm gonna be doing uh, from here on out. Um, I do believe in the ministry and I'm definitely gonna start. Um, uh, supporting this ministry not just by talk but by action as well because you just don't know how much just listening to you has really just blessed my soul Lord. and it really laid, you know, made me man up and, and things and places where I was weak and places that I was shallow you know because I was you know raised by women folk and thinking a certain type of way mm. and uh, I, just, I just thank you for that and that God has really just made you the man you are and uh, with that for me so I love, I love you. I love you to death. I, I just really, really do. I just, I, you, I, I admire. I mean, I admire you to the highest, um, and I honor you. And I talk about you all the time. And uh, and I tell people about straightway when they talk to me and like, hey, how you get all that knowledge? I said, well, I'm just listen to straightway ministry. I'm following up my past style, and uh, we believe in the whole Bible from the front mm -hmm. to the back, and we live by, we live according to to the Torah and, uh, and things of that nature. And um, I, I tell people this, I say, well, you know, uh, the New Testament is, is the word, but the Old Testament is the definition of the word. Mm -hmm. but, you know, a lot of things we don't understand when you just read the New Testament, you don't really understand or where it comes from. But then when you read the Old Testament, right. they give the foundation and the definition. So when you hear it, it just explains everything. And, you know, that's one of the things, that's really one of the trickeries of the, um, the church. That's how the church keeps people 
are Christians, that's how they, they keep them healthy. Because when you can tell them something, if they don't have a way of really going in and studying themselves, it's kind of like almost you want it to they keep people crippled, but yeah. people always have to keep running back to them instead of having to learn the truth. And like you were saying on the Shabbat, I've been speaking to people about, about the Shabbat, man, and I'll tell you, it's just, it is utterly amazing. Like you said, it's utterly amazing how you bring things to people's attention. And then it's like, and these are so-called, you know, my Christian brothers, you know, that I, that I talked to. And I was like, man, you know, you know this is wrong. And the fact that I had one brother come out, and uh, he just got promoted to a pastor in this church. Uh, the brother came out and he said, listen, man, he said, I believe in giving God his first, you know, a Sunday bed, uh, the first day. I said, hold on, first of all, nobody, but God, God says, you ain't got to see your own understanding. And you don't establish righteousness. God is righteous. And God establishes what is right and what is wrong. So regardless of what you think in your head, you still have to follow the word of God. So there is no excuses for what you're doing. And I said, the harm is, is that you call the other people to sin too. Everybody right. thinks that the, that the Shabbat is on Sunday simply because of the Christian church. And it's our fault because man, we're leading people to hell. Because if you call the people to sin, well, you know, they're going to be held accountable for that. And I'm glad that you were standing your ground and I found what they true. And now I have to live like that anymore. So, the boss and all to all the saints. I love y'all, man. Y'all stay encouraged. And love you too, Bass Down. Bless you, my brother. Shabbat Shalom. Yeah, stand your ground. And don't compromise for nobody. Not this true. Uh, brother and asked me, is it okay for them to, to listen to Sister to Sister's broadcast? Sure you can. But it's mainly a Sister's broadcast. Our Sisters pretty much, the only thing they're going to do is tell you what they've learned from the ministry here. Uh, and pretty much everybody that's in this ministry, they pretty much learn everything from me. And I learned it from y'all. And so to him be all the glory. But the sister sisters broadcast is 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 for a, a lot of women when they can't hear me because they think that Pastor Dow's out of touch, which they know I'm not. When they hear our sisters um, begin to do that broadcast, they leave no wiggle room. I put our sisters up against any sisters in the world concerning sincerity for this truth. Dedication and love for the Most High Yah and the Messiah, um, keeping the commandments and being keepers at home, and know this Bible. I put up my sisters against any of the sisters in the world, any of them, because I know the sincerity of their heart. I see them and see the difference with us. We don't only preach this thing, but we live it. That's the difference. Hmm? Right now, we've created an environment in this little old country area right here. I know who my neighbors are. Every one of my Israelites. Glory to the King. Let's go to Brother Herbert, Georgia, 706, 706. Pastor Dowie on the Shirt Me Truth Radio broadcast. I can help you. The two colored son in laws, but his colors are conservative Christians who respect Trump and Mike Volk. <laughs> uh, you lost me on that one, brother. Are you there? I don't know who that was or what that was about. Go to Arkansas, 501 501. It's Pastor Dow, you know, Sherry Tooth Radio Broadcast. How can I help you there in Arkansas? Shabbat Shalom, Pastor. Shabbat Shalom. Who am I speaking with? Uh, this is Keith Crutchfield of North Little Rock, Arkansas. Uh, come down with a Brother Keith Stinson last year, and I'd just like to say thank you for, uh, you know, having me there, you know, because I've, I've just started this journey in the truth, and I surely appreciate everything that you're doing there with the ministry, and it's just a wonderful thing when you're starting to come to the truth, and being invited in the truth, and and starting that walk is just it's just so great. I just can't explain it. I can't tell anybody how it feels, but this feeling that's coming over me is just great. It's just wonderful. And uh, I'd just like to say again, thank you to the elders, saints, and everybody around there at Straightway for it's, uh, just accepting me, you know, when I came down there. And I'm going to hang up and I'm going to let you get to somebody else uh, again. Spouse Bone Pastor. 
All right, bless you. Hey, right, good in from you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Spots on. Let's go to California. Call the number three one zero three one zero. This is Pastor Dow. You on the Strawberry Two Radio broadcast? I can help you there in California. How you doing, Pastor Dow? I am blessed of the Most High God, highly favored. Who am I speaking to? My name is Dwight Richburg. I'm calling you from Los Angeles, California. Woo, that's a Mr. big Bob, I'm to you. Back, I'm catching it on this thing. Woo, I bet you are. Man, that's a big city. You ever seen so, Los Angeles from the airplane, from an airplane? Yes, sir. I'm a, I'm a Navy veteran, so... Woo. Been flying. I was stationed in Jacksonville, so flying in is unreal. Flying lady. in because my children are here. It's unreal. It really is. How can I help you, my brother? I just wanted to. I just wanted to say thank you for all that you're doing and all that you poured into me through my iPad. I follow you on a daily through my iPad and my my tablet through your blog talks and everything. I just wanted to say that what you are doing and what you have put together, the Most High is going to bless you beyond this world, Pastor. Well, hallelujah. I know that's the truth. Um, and I know he's also got something planned for me there in the kingdom. But I tell you, brother, I lead by example. And um, this pastor right here, I constantly stay tired because I'm working so much. Um, and I really, I really truly do. Um, I do appreciate. I wanted to ask. Go ahead. I wanted to ask you a strong question. A what? What do you what What do you say to a, a young man? I'm 29 years old, mm -hmm. and um, I'm a former Baptist preacher. Mm -hmm. From my church, what do you say to the young man who's battling, trying to to show people this truth? Because my passion is for the people. My passion is for y'all's people. My brother, if, first of all, the Bible says, he that have ears, let him hear. And Jesus, you, you got to understand this. A lot of times when you're presenting people the truth, remember what Jesus said, this is like fishing. And if they can't accept this truth when you're when you're um, trying to show them, brother, then y'all's not dealing with them. I know it's a painful reality, but that's the same way when you go fishing. When you go fishing, you don't catch fish every time you throw the line out. That's the same way that we all, when we, when we pull this truth out, our job is to discern what fish or what human is biting on this word and truth and then to feed them more. They don't have ears to hear. <clears throat> they won't hear. The book says, then he opened their understanding that they might understand the scriptures. I remember when the light bulb came on with me, just like it came on with you and many other people. We had a knowing by the Holy Spirit. We knew the truth, yet and still we didn't know all the truth that the Bible has to say. It's just that we had a Ruach or a Holy Spirit knowing. And brother, unless the Most High is dealing with someone like that, all you, your job and responsibility is to give out the truth where they hear it for bear. But if you can't get someone to sit down intelligently with you and willing to listen to this, then Yah is not dealing with them. All praises. All praises to the most. All praises. Pastor Dow, I just want to let you know, man, you keep at it. You keep trekking. You keep moving. You keep pushing. And I'm, I'm coming to see you guys. I'm coming to see you guys. I'm coming to be with y'all down the straight way because this place, I have had enough of this place. <laughs> I'm just being quite honest. I have had enough of this place. When I get, when I'm able to, and I have, have the means to, I'm me and my two sons. We're coming the straight way. <laughs> well, you can come visit. I mean, we don't have a room for everybody. <laughs> Wish I did. You know what I mean? But I just, no, no, you... I, 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 just I know that. But I, I, I we got to come and see you. We have to come and see you and yours. Hallelujah. Well, you're welcome to come. Just let us know when you're coming. Yes, sir. Y'all be encouraging us. And, uh, hey, y'all make sure y'all get that teaching I did on the law of the strangers. Y'all post that on Facebook. Put it out all over the place. Put it out on social media. Copy, paste it. Do whatever you got to do to help get that word out to free a lot of people from a lot of this false camp doctrine. 
You said it right there, Pastor. You said it. We will be doing that, sir. Thank you so very much. All right. Hallelujah. Shabbat shalom. Shalom, Pastor. Hey, you know that in, in these churches, these camps, these, these Hebrew Israelite camps, you know that these people never spend time in worship and they never spend time in praise. You know the reason why? The Bible already called it. Those that are proud, they ain't going to praise y'all. Praise is only comely. To them that are upright. And the scripture says, let everything that have breath praise you, Yah. Man, these people are too proud to praise Yah. They are. And they because they ain't Yah's people. Regardless. Study, study, study. We're gonna study. What about praising? What about worshiping? You know, John saw the multitude of the overcomers. And all of them were worshiping Yahweh. Some of them were singing, some of them were shouting, but they all was worshiping Yah. Oh, praise Yah. All right, Junior 929. It's Pastor Dow. How can I help you, Junior? Junior, as many times you called in, brother, you should have your ducks in order, man. Junior going once? I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't expect to call. Well, you're in the caller queue. Did you press number one? Yeah, I'm pressing it again. I'm going to be down. All right, so I can help you, Junior. Okay. Um, I just want to say bless you. Thank you for the building. Thank you for everything. Pastor. You're welcome. I love you so much, man. Bless you. Have a good night, sir. All right. Bless you, Junior. Shalom, shalom. You know, I do. I truly, truly, truly love all Israel. I love all you to have the ears to hear. And with Pastor Dow, I don't give a damn what color you are. Black, white, red, yellow, blue, purple, green, or brown. You a human that got blood running through you? I'm going to do whatever I can, all that I can in my power, to preach the message of this uncompromising, unadulterated, unchanging gospel. And see if you have the ears to hear. You do. You've got a friend with me. One thing that Pastor Dow, one thing I don't do, I don't forsake friends. No, I don't. I'm a man of integrity, a man of honor. That's what I am. And if, and if I say you my brother and my sister... I won't be the one disturbing the relationship. I won't be one breaking covenant. I'm here. So anyway, I want y'all to be encouraged, okay? I truly, truly do. Hallelujah. Call number 267-267. Pastor Dow, you're going to serve two radio broadcasts. I can help you. Hallelujah. All right. The broadcast, I can help you. Is that us? That's you. Hello, Shalom. Shabbat Shalom, Pastor Dow. This is uh, Rodney. Me and my wife, Rodney, calling from Philadelphia. Um, I talked to you a little while back, and I just wanted to call and keep in touch. Um, uh, I wanted to ask you, um, I had clicked on the uh, PayPal to donate on your website, and I wanted to make sure that was the same as sending it to Dow7000 at Gmail. Yes, it is. It's, it's connected. Okay, cool. I just wanted to make sure I was doing the right thing. Now. But yeah, um, I didn't, I didn't have any questions or anything like that. Just, just wanted to say, you know, I follow you on YouTube. I follow you on Patreon. You know, I, I hang on to your words. You, you get sound judgment. And I thank the Most High God for you, Pastor God. Hallelujah! I thank the Most High God for all of you and all the ones I haven't met. Y'all just continue to keep praying my strength because I want to do everything I can to make sure that y'all's people hear this truth. Hallelujah, Pastor Dow. I'm not going to stay long. I just wanted to call and give you thanks. and just, you know, keep in touch. All right, my brother. Thank you very much. Right, thank you again, Pastor. Shalom, shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom, sister. Hey, I tell you, man, I do. I love y'all and have a love for y'all's people. I'm going to be faithful. I promise you that. Um, but I, I truly do appreciate y'all's support. You know, if I am a laborer in this, in this vineyard, and I am worthy of my hire. That's the reason why y'all never hear me talk about offerings and tithes and stuff. Because I figured Christianity has done indoctrinated you so much. You know more about tithes and offerings than I ever would. But, you know, anytime, you know, you're getting fed, you should you should really truly want to um, actually, you know, contribute to the work to make sure that the works continue. Glory to the King.
Missouri, call number 816-816. By the way, from Missouri, we got Sister Jelan and family down here. Glory to the King. It's Pastor Dow, you're on the Savory Tooth Radio broadcast. I can help you there in Missouri. Shalom, shalom, Pastor Dow. This is Mother J.C. How are you doing this evening? I'm doing all right. How are you doing, my, my wonderful mother? I am blessed, Pastor. I don't know if you remember a while back I uh, called in and it was a, I thought it was an accident and I said that there's no coincidences. And I went back and thought about that and I remembered why that happened. I need to ask you to forgive me. For what? Because when we first came into this walk, um, into church ministry, now I had already had the Holy Spirit since I was age 26 and I'm now in my 60s. But when I came into this way, because I still had that Christian mindset, uh -huh. so I was thinking, Pastor Dow, he, oh, I don't know about this. I don't know about this man. But now, Pastor, you you are in the Word, everything in the Word. There's nothing that you, you speak that's not in the Word. So I want to thank you. And like I said, I want to apologize and repent I thought at the beginning because you you're you're off track. I thought I'd never see another man after my husband passed away that was compassionate. You have surpassed that. He was a passionate man about the word and you are a true as I told you before, you're a true warrior. And I I appreciate that the Father has led me in two straight ways. I appreciate you, and I look forward to hearing your word every Shabbat, and I hate it when I get distracted by my grandchildren. Ah. Anyway, <laughs> so, so bless you, Pastor. Bless all of Straightway and to Sister Carol, to all of you down there. You know, you are doing a great work down there, and, and it's beautiful. So, I just wanted to say that. So, well, thank you, so Mom. Bless you. Have a wonderful Shabbat. All uh, right. Hallelujah. Bless about your loan. That's Mother J.C. out there. Cass, let me tell y'all. The reason why people get so offended with me when they first hear me is because that is where they are at in their mind. Because they are still yet cardinal. Cardinal and walk as men. And when you have an untransformed mind and when you hear somebody like me, it's a shock and awe experience it really truly is because you're you're basing your opinion on me at the level that you're at and what you think you know but then if you just evaluate and truthfully pick up that bible and do your own due diligence and do an independent investigation and research about what i preach and teach you're gonna find out real quick fast in a hurry i'm not the one in error nope so it's based on your level of maturity and, and it's based on how much you know. Um, and that's how that people end up overcoming because they continue to keep striving. Let's go to Florida. Call number 904 904. It's Pastor Dow. You're on the Strictly True Radio broadcast. I can help you there in Florida. Hey, Pastor Dow. My name is William. I'm going to say thank you, sir. Thank you. Well, I bless you, William. Yeah, because I was going to be preaching about. I've had questions about since I learned how to read and growing up in a Baptist church, you know, I could never get a straight answer. It was always, you know, I didn't have enough faith or just the devil put them thoughts in your head. But I really appreciate what you're doing, Pastor Don. Well, hallelujah. Keep holding my hands up. Yes, sir. All right, I mean, I, I want to keep doing because I know you're busy, but thank you. All right, bless you, brother. Be encouraged. All right, Shabbat Shalom. Hey, I'll see y'all tomorrow morning. King coming. I bless y'all in the sweet presence of the strong and victorious and mighty overcoming name. I'll soon come King. I'll show him see Jesus Christ. Shabbat Shalom. King coming. Thank you for using Blog Talk Radio. Goodbye.